Nokia 3 and Nokia finally came back into the market with Nokia's Android devices and they launched them officially in India. Nokia 3 is the only device which is available at the moment so I bought it from offline stores because Nokia decided not to sell the Nokia 3 online. But before I start unboxing this product I want to talk about the pricing of this device. I bought the device for 9500 rupees and that's the official pricing too but when I went into the store they said that the device is being sold for 10,500 rupees then I said no 9,500 is the price for which Nokia has launched then they came down to 10,300 rupees he was not ready to bargain at all but one of my friends was working there so they let me buy it for 9,500 rupees which is the official pricing the only reason why they are quoting so high because the MRP is also 10,299 rupees 10,500 rupees is actually illegal to sell at but 10,300 is kinda okay because MRP mentioned on the box is 10,300. If you are planning to buy this device then only pay 9,500 rupees to the dealer like use your bargaining skills to the fullest. Now let's get back to the unboxing experience of this device. First of all let's check the box in the front we get Nokia 3 image with two hands if you had any Nokia device then the boot animation had two small hands maybe those kids got bigger and those are the same hands just maybe just a theory on the back side you get the Nokia 3 image once again and with some specifications Android 7.0 Nougat which is the latest Android version that you can have then premium quality because of aluminium precision machined frame and I do not doubt on Nokia when it comes to build quality. As soon as you open up the box you will see the Nokia 3 device. I am going to keep it aside and I am going to start it later on. Then we have SIM ejector tool which was a little bit difficult to remove from that because it had some sticker on it. Then we have some normal manuals which will guide you how to use your Nokia 3 or just in case if this is your first time using any Android device because it's possible. Then we have a box in which you will find earphones and these earphones look exactly similar to the old earphones which used to come with old Nokia phones. Then we have charger and a USB cable and the charger is rated at 5 volts and 1 ampere so do not expect fast charging to be enabled on this device. Now let's boot up the device and I know what you guys are waiting for, the boot animation. So let's wait and let's hear that Nokia sound. It's really good to hear all those Nokia tunes once again and I am using this device for almost one day now and whenever new notification comes the old Nokia tune of the messages rings and uh, it feels really amazing. My dad was like give me this Nokia phone and give get my old phone but then I said that dad your oneplus x is far better than this nokia 3 let's set up the device and it is very easy to set up like just select the things which you want to be present on your device but as soon as the device booted into the system i noticed that apps are taking a little bit extra time to open up there was a little bit of lag but it's completely fine because this was the first boot of the nokia 3 now let's take a physical overview of the device in the front we have Nokia branding, earpiece and a 8 megapixel camera then we have the 5 inch HD display followed by physical buttons which are back, home and multitasking button. At the bottom side you can find the speaker, micro USB port and the primary microphone and two antenna lines are present at the bottom side too. On the top side there is a headphone jack with noise cancellation mic and once again two antenna lines are present on the top too. At the back side you can find the 8 megapixel camera with a single LED flash. Once again Nokia branding and the device feels really good to hold in hand just in case if I did not mention that. The back panel is made of plastic but it's a very good plastic. Frankly speaking I do not hate plastic back panels as long as they feel as good as the Nokia 3's back panel which is really good. Volume and power buttons are present on the right side and I feel that those buttons are a little bit too high for my hand. I wish the power button was a little bit lowered down. On the left side we have something really interesting which is dual sim card slot and a separate dedicated micro SD card slot. 
because 16 GB of internal storage is present on this device so you are going to use a micro SD card slot on this particular device or you have to because 16 GB is not enough in this world and you can do that with the separate dedicated micro SD card slot. After this now let's talk about some of the specifications that Nokia 3 has to offer. So as I said multiple times 5 inch 1280 by 720p display which is IPS LCD display. Corning Gorilla Glass is present on the Nokia 3 but the version of the Corning Gorilla Glass is not specified by Nokia. MediaTek MT6737 chip is present inside this device which many people did not like at the first place. MT6737 is a 1.4 GHz quad core processor with Mali T720 MP2 GPU which should be good enough for games. I am not completely sure about that. A dedicated gaming review of the Nokia 3 will be coming soon so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Then we have 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage on this device. And as I mentioned earlier 8MP front facing camera and 8MP rear facing cameras are present on the Nokia 3. 2650mAh of battery is present in the Nokia 3 which sounds low in 2017 but who knows Nokia might have done something. Let me test the phone and I'll mention about the battery life in my full review. I want to mention something over here that I am extremely happy with the build quality. I would give 9.5 out of 10 to the build quality of the Nokia 3. The aluminum chassis at the sides and the plastic back panel at the back. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.